All right, um, so this is the second part. Uh, I just want to quickly go over um, the audio buffer. Um, so this audio sampler or whatever this is, the audio sample buffer. So I want to show you what the write pointer is and what the read pointer is. Um, so what we'll do is, I think I just want to make a new class or wait, how am I going to do this? Hmm. So I just want to print out something. Maybe we'll make a new project for this. Uh, yeah, this is the old video. I hope the quality was fine. I hope there's no delay. I maybe that was just processing. So console application. Um, buffer test, not text. Um, yeah, let's go to uh, b -b -b choose 52. All right, create, and we'll go into Visual Studio again. So, let it process the files a little bit. Okay, so we just have a main CPP file, and we have the juice header uh, included. So that's cool. That's all we really need. Um, oh, I like to make this go away. So this is all we really need, and um, I'll just do a while one loop, and this is how it'll look like. Come on. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It tells me here. Okay, you can make this faster. Uh, come on. Uh, whoa. So. Let me know if I should. Um, maybe cut these sort of things out if they take up too much time or if I I mean if I get stuck anywhere you know I'll try to cut the things out but you know it's uh, <laughs> somewhat difficult um, you know if I'm already going to cut out things I I'd rather do it a little bit better and then spend more time on um, you know, editing my videos, but for now I'll just make this live, and I hope you understand that. All right, so we have a, vi a while loop. This uh, makes the window stay up, so it doesn't leave. Uh, so what I want to just you know try is we'll just go a little bit into the buffers. So audio sample buffer. What is it? Okay, so we just define one here, and we can make things like get write pointer or get read pointer so you can you have to read these and you know what it does um, but pretty much a write pointer returns a you know in sort of the way I understand it it returns um, the channels uh, array if you don't know what arrays are you really gotta look into those uh, it returns the array and then we can actually override the values in there. And what the read pointer does is pretty much the opposite. You know, it's just a po an array where we can read the values from. So that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's just for speed. I'm not quite sure. So um, I hope it works this way. Maybe we have to say uh, set some things like set size, changes of buffer size or number of channels, keep existing content, whoops, so get write pointer, so you know this returns a float pointer which is a um, an array, so that's how it'll look like, um, Maybe I'll show you how it how this would look like on a 
more easier level, easier level. So in pointer to our array. Yeah, okay. Let's just call it vector. <laughs> um, not the best names here, but let's just call it tempo, right? That's better. So here we could actually define some values and this would be a dynamic array. Oh no, 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 no. We actually need to say things like new integer and then define its length. And this length can be non-constant. So that's an issue that we would have otherwise. So if we would do something like this, well, I haven't really done arrays in a long time. So I think this is sort of the normal way you would do this. So that's an array. Um, but this uh, length is predefined now, so we cannot change it. So this is a way how to change it. So, uh, yeah, cool, we can actually use the logger, huh? Then we wouldn't even need to use cout. Hmm. Uh, what is better, you know, if we look it up here on the little CMD? I'll just do it like this, I think. Um, you know, we could add things into this temp uh, zero. We could say like equals zero. You know, that works. Um, and then we could do like a little for loop um, for auto reference num of temp. We could say, uh, oh no, pointer. Why don't you work? And, uh, begin. Let's just do it a simple way. Auto i equals one. I goes until four. And then temp i. But we need to return these as strings. So this will just return all the values in temp and we actually need to set these. Because otherwise I think we'll just get the reference out. The reference to the memory back, I think. Okay. Reduce assertion failure, auto sample buffer. Get right pointer is positive and below. I think this is because we didn't set anything for the for the sample buffer. Let's just remove this for now. See if this works at all. Okay, so we use the logger to write this into the uh, well console here instead of in this uh, thing, so we don't have to use IO stream. Mm. So you see, that's basically how it works, um, and that's what we want to do with the sample buffer as well. Essentially, there are just dynamic arrays, as far as I know, um, <coughs> and this, you know write pointer allows us to write into this dynamic stuff and the read pointer lets us uh, read every values all the values in it all right so numbers to number channels to allocate so we'll just do two um in nums to allocate okay so we'll allocate 10 so 10 samples and two channels and we're looking at the first channel which is zero uh, okay so get right pointer so what we could do now is i hope this time it works <laughs> asd okay don't complain yet no uh, shit that's not really getting 
this loop, this for loop. Okay, we'll go again, and I goes until 10. You know, this is the number of samples that we have defined, and I think, no, 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 buffer get samples, get num samples, which is gonna be 10. This is a function, so we need to define it with brackets. I, I, okay. And then we could say a buffer, or no, 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 the ASD, which is the right pointer. So that's sort of like the array we had before, and we just set it to I, which goes from 0 to 10. So now we could go ahead again and say, oh, right buffer, we'll, we'll name these better, float pointer, uh, read buffer which is going to be buffer dot get read pointer. So this again returns a float uh, pointer, this time a constant, so we'll set that constant as well. So from channel one, now it doesn't complain. So these values won't change um, in this one. So now we can do the same here as before. And this time we'll just say read buffer i. Cool. So we wrote into the buffer and we read from the buffer. 0 to 10. Okay. So that's about it. Ah, okay. So that's what the buffer does, really. Uh, it has a bunch more things like clear, uh, I think even apply gain. Yes. Um, that's sort of like the level we had last time, um, but I think this is like even uh, being applied later on. Um, gain ramp, I think this goes over a certain range, even no, applies a range of gains. Um, you know, you can try out even more here, but this is sort of the idea behind this buffer. Um, you know, uh, it has even more here, you know, get every of read pointers, I'm sure this is useful for some. Get magnitude, which already goes a little bit into uh, DSP, I think. Finds the highest absolute sample value. Uh, RMS is also DSP already. No, that's just math, okay. Hmm. Has been cleared, make a copy of, oh, that's cool. Oh, reverse. Oh, that's cool. Part of the channel only, huh? Mm. Well, you know, this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and that's the general idea behind this. And all we had had done uh, in our application last time was, you know, get next float of this uh, random class, which we then had multiply it by 2 minus 1 and you know then we just had a level which was going from uh, times 0 0.1 and you know this is sort of what it'll look like then um, in the output in the console uh, just some random numbers that go from the new range of 0 0.1 so minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1. And yeah, that's just what the what it will come out as audio then. All right. Um, so I think that's about it for this tutorial or this short tutorial. I just wanted to show you real quickly what the buffer is about. I think it's somewhat important to understand what it actually does. Um, well, later on, we just you know, get a buffer and then we have to do something with it, but that's essentially what it does. So, hope you liked it. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. I, I think I forgot that last time. Uh, so, we'll be going into the VST development next time. That's cool. Uh, yeah.